Hello Soul Family, my name is Gita and welcome to your Pick a Card Reading. So the title of this video is going to be Messages from your love interest. What do they want to say to you but they feel like they can't in some way, right? But before I get started, I just want to say really quickly that if you like this kind of video and you would like for me to make more of them, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you do. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. Also, that really helps out my channel and I really appreciate it. If you would like to be notified, oh, I already said that. Um, if you would like to get a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. Also, that's where you're going to be finding your timestamps in the video description. And also, lately, I've been able to go in the video description on my Android devices and hit, there's actually a little blue thing there and you can click it. So it's been working, hopefully your device. Let me know in the comments below if it's been working for you. Anyway, so this is gonna be option number one with the amethyst, option number two with a rose quartz pendant, option number three with the lapis lazuli, and option number four with a clear quartz crystal pendant. So you can go ahead and pause the video and take as long as you need, but I'm going to go ahead and get started and find out what your love interest has to say to you. All right, so here we have the cards for option number one with the amethyst. And let's go ahead and find out what your love interest wants to say. All right. So first we have the two of wands in the reverse, the five of swords in the reverse, and the king of wands. Then we have, what is that? The Emperor in the reverse. It's hard to read upside down. The Fool in the reverse. And Temperance. It's kind of interesting that these are both in reverse and then, and then these ones are in the upright. Then we have their, your, um, your love oracle cards, which I'll read at the end. And then we also have you are an angel. I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusions. It really was me, not you. Can you see those? Let me move over a little bit more. And I'm afraid to take that next step right now. And that is very apparent right here with the full and the reverse. I feel like that they want to, you know, but they're just not ready. Okay, with the two of wands, it looks like there is some kind of choice that they're afraid to be taking. There's a choice that needs to be made and they're having a hard time. Like, having the power to do so, the emperor is like... I'm feeling like it's a lack of confidence, which isn't always what the emperor means. But in this case, it feels like a lack of confidence, a lack of that oomph, you know, to do it. It's like a lack of balls. Let's just say it that way. And with the five of swords in the reverse can indicate, I feel like it, the energy, it feels like backing down it feels like afraid it feels like defeated in a way like self-defeat like a very strong self-defeat not just a regular and with the fool they're afraid to take that next step with the king of wands i feel like soon they're feeling like soon they're they're trying to gain the courage they want to say that they are trying to gain the courage to take that next step that they want to okay they want to find a compromise with this temperance they want to come together also i'm picking up that some of them are waiting until they're more at peace and feeling more at like peace and harmony inside themselves which this that's not what you should do but that's what it feels like that they're doing let's see what these say it says power you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time they want to say that to you that you can, because they they know that they're not really doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're not living up to that. They're also, I'm picking up, you know, that they're having a sense of like a poor self-worth right now because they're just so, they're like very fearful. They wouldn't, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't blame you if you walked away is what I'm hearing. 
When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So, yeah. So I feel like they're saying, you know, that they would not be upset if you... I mean, they would be upset, but they wouldn't be angry with you. Like, they wouldn't blame you if you walked away because they're just, like, dragging their feet. They, I know you're right, but I need my to come to my own conclusion is about I'm afraid to take that next step right now. I feel like that they're recalling something that you said to them. You're an angel. Like they're saying that you haven't done anything wrong. That whatever is going on is all totally on them. You haven't done anything. You've been an angel. Let's see if there's anything else. So I know that they're trying to wait until they're feeling more at peace within themselves before they make that next step, but they have the King of Wands. They're still very, feeling very um, passionate towards you. They're wanting to be authentic, and I'm really picking up that they're going to have that drive, and that uh, that drive is going to help pull, push them forward into the situation because they're just really in a situation where they're feeling very fearful. Like, they're trying to count on their instincts to know what is right for themselves as well. And again, that, that there's no right or wrong. I just, I'm feeling like that you haven't done anything wrong. It's like a very strong sense of that. Because it keeps saying, I keep saying like, I know you're right. You're an angel. I know you're right. You know? The two of wands in the reverse is about being apprehensive about the future. You know, they, they just, they don't know. And it's making them not really take that step forward. It's making them not feel like, like brave and courageous and everything. Also, like your person could be an Aquarius, Cancer, Leo, and Aries. I'm picking up and Sagittarius. And I'm hearing, like, I'm picking up intuitively. I can't believe that you would still want me after all of this, after everything. Like, I can't believe that you would still want me. So they're feeling really doubtful and apprehensive. It is, they, they're definitely in a place of ego with fear. Anyways, let me know in the comments below um, what is going on here because this is definitely a fear. Anyways, that's all I have for option number one. If you like this kind of video, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. It helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to pile number two. All right, so here we have the cards for pile number two with the rose quartz pendant. And let's go ahead and find out what your person would like to say to you. All right, so first we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. The Ten of Cups, that's interesting. The Page of Coins, or Knave of Coins. Then we have the Tower. Death. These are powerful cards. Holy crap. We have the sun. <laughs> like, oof. I saw the sun already. I was cheating. Look at that. All three major arcanas right here. And then we have, I feel safer in the silence. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you. 
and I just want you to be happy. Ugh, I hate that. Uh, I hate that one. When they say it, when they talk like that, I hate that. All right. All right, this is your Love Oracle cards. Oh my gosh. All right, this person. A signs that could be associated with this one is going to be Aries, Scorpio, Leo, um, Pisces. All right. So, this person is like, it's funny that these kind of go together with each other. It says, I feel safer in the silence. I'm trying to think of what to say to you. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. I just want you to be happy. Oh, I hate that because it's like a cop out. It's such a cop out. It's like, they feel like they can't be good enough or they're not feeling good enough. So they kind of cop out and they're like, I just want you to be happy. I don't care if I'm happy. They're like doing that martyr. They're like being a martyr. Like, uh, I don't need to be happy. You just go be happy because I don't want to fight. I don't want to try hard enough to make you happy. Ugh, I hate that. I hate guys that are like, when <laughs> guys do that too. Let me know in the comments below if you feel the same way. It's like, uh, man, I love a challenge. I love a challenge where I can feel like I can make someone happy. I don't know. I've never felt like I couldn't make someone happy or anything. I just, I can't really relate to the feeling, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. I just, I've always felt like I was good at making other people happy and I enjoy making other people happy. With the Nine of Cups in the reverse, they're so afraid that you're going to be disappointed with them. If you were disappointed with them, it would just totally destroy them with a tower. And... They are actually, they're actually going through a transformation. So they might be doing like a dark night of the soul thing. That might be part of what their problem is. They also may show up as wanting to be like, act like a friend or something like that for now. I'm picking up that for some of you, this is a friend or they're starting off as a friend. They're like friends and wanting more. But what it's saying is that they're hoping someday that they're going to get their shit together and they're going to stop feeling like the Nine of Cups in the reverse and they're going to be coming in and being the Nine of Cups in the upright. They would say that they um, they really want to take your relationship to the next level. They want to transform it. They do feel like that you could make them happy. But at the same time, there is something, there's some kind of inadequacy where they're feeling like they're not good enough, like they're not going to like they just think so much of you or they've really put you on a pedestal but the page of coins they just you know they want to offer you something but they just they feel like it's just going to be not enough again it's like it's going to be a really small offer picking up that there's going to be a lot that are going to be there's going to be a lot of you that the person's going to be pretty much pretty young or inexperienced in some way or they don't have a very high paying job this person is worried about they like they I think that they feel like they can give you enough emotional love, like emotional abundance, but it's like there's some kind of there I'm also I'm hearing that they're working on making more money. And then they're gonna wanna come together. Also I'm hearing that they feel like they've made it clear to you, a lot of you, that um, this isn't going to be for everyone, but that they aren't in a very good place financially right now. What does this say? It says, emotions are natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. I'm picking up that a lot of you, some of you, they might feel like that they've disappointed you in the past or they just flat out disappointed you in the past. Let me know in the comments below, but they, they, I'm hearing that some of you that they can't, they don't think they can handle it. Like they don't think they can handle disappointing you again. And then it says deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. 
So I feel like what they're saying with this is that deep down in their heart, they already know that you're the thing, you're the right person, that you're the, you're what feels right, that they're just trying, they're going through something with the death card. They're going through a transformation. This person has been rocked, like they're, they have been rocked. So they like, they want to say something to you. I'm trying to think of what I want to say. I feel I'm hearing that some of you that they actually get a chance to talk to you, but every time they think, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it this time and they don't say it. Some of you that I'm hearing that they want to tell you that they love you and they haven't said it yet. They just, the reason why they don't want to tell you that they love you or anything is because they don't want to lead you on. They don't want to hurt you. They want you to be happy. They don't want to disappoint you. This person's terrified of disappointing you. But at the same time, they know, they says do what feels right. And they know that coming towards you is what feels right to them. Deep in their heart, they already know the answer. Anyways, that's all I have for option number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to pile number three. All right, so here we have the cards for option number three with the lapis lazuli. And let's go ahead and find out what your person wants to say to you. What does your romantic interest want to say? All right, so first we have the Three of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Five of Coins. Then we have the Hermit in the reverse. The Page of Pentacles. And the Hangman in the reverse. Then we have Something is Still Missing for Me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. How could you still love me after all I've done? The thoughts of you still does things to me. I'm sorry I held myself back with you. And this is your love oracle cards. This one says playfulness. Okay. Again, with this cards, I'm feeling like they've, they're a strong sense of that they feel like they've let you down. Seems like a ongoing theme to, um, so far with these and these. It's like in different ways though. The Three of Cups is they really want to come together, but they're taking time. They need to take time to reflect on the situation. That's what they want to say. They really want to come together with you, but I need to take time to reflect on what on my feelings and, and everything. Also, I feel like there's a, some lessons that they're trying to understand and learn at the moment, and they're, they need to take time to reflect on that. It's like to needing time, the hermit, and the reverse. The Eight of Wands, they feel so passionate with, with you. They got the Page of Pentacles. For some, I feel like that they might want to, some of them might be at a distance and they might have to, um, they might, they might have to travel to come and see you. Some, the Eight of Wands can indicate air travel, but also rapid, passionate communication. I feel like that they want to offer you something. It might be something small, but they want to offer you something small and stable. With a five of coins, okay, they're feeling left out in the cold, right? But the hangman's in the reverse, and sometimes it can indicate, you know, you know, that they're going into a period of like waiting or pausing 
or trying to figure out what to do and everything like that. But at the same time, I feel like they're coming out of this energy. This has it. This feels like it's coming out of that energy and that they're working on coming out of that energy. It's like something is missing. See, that's what they're reflecting on here. They're trying to figure out what it is. The Three of Cups. For some of you, I feel like there could be some kind of third party situation. Um, also, it could indicate that your friends and there is reflecting on if they want to make it something more. It's like, but this definitely resonates with this, right? Something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. I feel like for some, they might be already in a relationship with somebody else and then they still feel like something is missing. And when they think about you, it gets them, they get, they feel worked up. I mean, they have playfulness. I'm feeling that there's some kind of sexual chemistry as well. So like, whoo, they get all worked up when they think about you. And if they're with another person, this isn't going to resonate for everybody. But if they're with another person, they're going to be like, mm, something must be missing if I'm feeling like this. Like there's something not quite right if they're feeling, you know, very drawn to you. There's something that they feel like that you provide for them that the other people have not provided or the person that they're with does not provide. And they're trying to figure out what that is. I think that they might also be trying to think of how they can cultivate that in that person that they're with. But I don't see that working. How could you still love me after all I've done? I'm sorry I held myself back with you. How could you still love me after all I've done? Again, it's just like... They feel like they have, like they, again, that's that letting you down. I'm sorry I held myself back with you. There is like, I'm hearing there's so many opportunities that they had that they could have came towards you. They could have kissed you or something or told you how they feel. And it's just, they've always just failed to do that. Let me read these. All right, this says, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. See, that's what they're saying right here. That's what this, this, this hermit is going with a lot of things. Apparently this is saying it's important to take a step back and spend some time alone. That's what they're feeling that they need to do. I feel like that they're kind of not able to do that though. I feel like I'm hearing like there's people that are in their life that keep kind of pulling them along and, and wanting to distract them or try or that are distracting them and they just feel obligated this person having some codependency issues where they're having a difficulty setting boundaries with the people in their life all right and it says and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is time to give to yourself so i feel like that they're, they're trying to do is they're trying to figure out themselves figure out what they want feel like what's figure out what's missing inside themselves what is missing in the situation and you know why they're feeling the way that they do because they definitely have strong feelings towards you when we have playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer have some fun together so I still feel like you know like they want to get together with you for some I'm feeling like you still see this person re like regularly and that is somebody that might even part be part of your friend group um, I feel like it is saying that they're not quite ready, you know, to come forward towards you and to try to keep things light. This is what they're saying. Like they want things to stay light until they can figure things out. It's like they're stalling. Anyways, that's all I have for pile number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. Also, when you subscribe, it really supports my channel and lets me know that you like my content and that you want me to keep making more of it. If you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, so that's all I have for pile number three. And I'm gonna go ahead and move on to pile number four. All right, so here we have the cards for pile number four with the clear quartz pendant. And let's go ahead and find out. Can you see it there? I think so. Let's go ahead and find out what your person wants to say to you. All right, so first we have the chariot. The 
the devil. The Eight of Cups in the reverse. Then we have the Ace of Cups. The High Priestess in the reverse. And then we have the Five of Wands in the reverse. Alright, then we have... Is it possible to forgive and forget? Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. I just got caught up in the moment. Oh. Then it all comes down to timing. And then these are your love oracles. Okay. This person loves you so much. They want you to know that they love you and they want to come towards you. But they have something that is restricting them. I got to clarify this card. I didn't have to clarify any of them, but I have to clarify this one. picking up like with the devil they have some kind of restraint but they're also very tempted by you and I'm feeling like you know they just they they want to they would do anything for you they want to be able to do anything for you they want to be authentic they want this is like the relationship they take it seriously they don't they don't they want to make it through the situation they they're having a hard time. I'm picking up some third party situation for some of you. They're having a hard time. I'm hearing I, they are really appreciate you being there for them no matter what. And that you're like a true friend to them. I'm picking up a lot of friend vibes tonight. Jeez. Uh, they really appreciate that. But it's like. They want to. I'm picking up that they want things to progress quickly soon. They do have some kind of block or some kind of restraint. They want to come forward. We have the chariot with the ace of cups. They want to come towards you. They love you. Right? But there's like some kind of situation I'm, they're having a hard time walking away from. With the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Uh, and there's a lot of conflict. And they're, But they're really sorry that they're not able to come forward at this time. It's all down to timing. So they feel like that it is down to timing. Let me know in the comments below if this is a third party situation. But I'm, when I'm picked up, I just got caught up in the moment. I'm feeling like this person, um, for some, I feel like that they chose someone else over you at some point, and it's like they got caught up in the moment with that other person, and it's like they didn't realize what what you were or anything like that. And now I feel like that they're trying to move away from that person, and move towards you. 
It says, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So I feel like that they're trying to say, I'm picking up that a lot of you are, um, for some of you, those restraint is secret, by the way. You might not know that they have a restraint. So some of them might have a relationship with somebody already. But um, if you don't know that there's a potentially a third party situation. But I feel like it's like keep doing what you're doing. Keep loving. That's what I feel like I'm hearing to keep doing that and things are going to transform. It says... Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. This, it does come down the timing. And often when this card comes up, it's about a third party situation too. I just got caught up in the moment. I am picking up that for some, they um, maybe came towards you or something and maybe you made out but then you've kind of not also I'm hearing that some of them there's different things but I'm hearing that you some of you are criticizing them for their behavior and that's pushing them away and they're saying to stop doing that to help bring you together and then another thing is is that if there is a third party situation that they're getting a lot of criticism from them and they don't need any continuous pressure from you They want, like it's saying, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities. Yeah, that's a, I feel like that's like something that they're trying to do. That's like their goal is they want to reduce all these thoughts that they're having that are negative and they're trying to free themselves. They're either trying to free themselves from another person, another situation, or their own mental selves. It's going to be different a little bit for everybody. Let me know in the comments below. This one's a little bit tricky, but this person definitely loves you. Anyways, that's all I have for option number four. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out and it helps out my channel. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.